Hey everyone, Dana with the OT Guide. Today I'm going to show you my latest Jamboard activity. It's Pokemon themed. If you're not familiar with Jamboard, go check out my tutorial. It shows you how to use it during teletherapy. I promise you it's worth it. It makes your sessions more fun. Uh, and if you've been benefiting from all of these Jamboard activities and some of the other free activities I've provided, hit that subscribe button, show your support. But I'm going to show you how to get this activity because I know you're going to want it. So this link is going to be in the YouTube description of the video. So right next to where it says the OT guide, my name, click that down arrow, a paragraph will pop up about this video and there's a link in there. Copy and paste the link to your browser and then this page will pop up. You're going to hit these three dots and then you're going to select make a copy and you will get this activity to use during teletherapy. But basically your students are going to be getting practice drawing so they can use this, this marker button. Uh, they get practice using challenging their mouse control. This is why I like Jamboard because they get to practice really their computer skills. They get to practice writing and if they have a typing goal, they can use the sticky note to practice typing. Really easy there. We have some mazes to challenge their visual motor skills, some copying. Um, some dragging and dropping of Pokemon, and then a bunch of writing activities, so identifying tall, short, and hanging letters, um, working on baseline adherence as well. So yeah, it's really, it's easy to use, but the way you would do this during teletherapy is you could either screen share and give control so your students could color through your screen. If you can't give control, what you do is you download a copy of this, of this activity, then up here where it says share, you click on it, and then you change this to anyone on the internet with this link can edit. So you want to make it, you want to make your students editors. Okay. Once you make your students editors, you're going to copy the links and you're going to either send it to them in your, in your chat or their email. And then all they do is click on that link and then you can watch them do their Jamboard activity. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, comment below, and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Bye.